Adobe Illustrator is now available on the iPad, and in this video, what I want to show you is how to use and edit the graphic and logo templates from the Vector Lab. So what I want to do here is when you order, you'll come to a downloads page like this, and let's download our file. And this is the icons collection of graphic and logo templates. So I'm just going to tap download. And these graphic and logo templates include fonts and everything you need to get started. And what we want to do here is tap open in and then go save to files. And then what I want to do is make a new folder. So we'll call this the vector lab and then click done. And then we'll tap save. So now when we go into our folders here, let's tap on our vector lab folder and you'll see this zip file that we downloaded. Just tap that to unzip. And if you get any kind of unzipping errors, just completely shut down your iPad, just power it down, restart it. That usually fixes everything. So we have our folder here and in our folder, we have PDF guides for Illustrator. This shows all the designs in there. This shows the fonts and some tutorial videos. And there's another PDF guide for Adobe Photoshop. However, this only works on Photoshop desktop version it doesn't work on the iPad version just yet, but it works on desktop and iPad for Illustrator. And we have a preview image here, which I'll show you. This is just a PNG that previews the designs. This is a growing collection, so I'm currently adding new designs to it every week. And if you order early, you'll get all the designs for better price. But what I want to do here is let me open up two of these. So I'm going to open up number 20 and we're going to use this banner and we'll open up number 19. And instead of the lightning bolt in this cat's mouth, we'll put the banner and we'll see how that looks. So here we have our files for Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and there's also a fonts folder. But what we need to do here is let's go into the Adobe Illustrator app go back to the home screen here and tap on import and open. So what we want to do is let's navigate to our on my iPad folder. And then there's our, the vector lab folder. There's the icons folder and delivery one Adobe illustrator. And remember it was number 19 and number 20. So let's open up number 20 first and you'll see here how there's no fonts loaded. So what I want to do is with our text tool, let's tap on that font and see what it is. So this is Sansita Extra Bold and instead of replace, I'm just going to hit cancel because I found there's a little bit of a bug in this early version and usually if you do this workaround, it'll load your font a lot better. So let's get out of the text mode there. Let's go back to our text tool, our type tool, and let's just go like we're typing somewhere else on the screen. And what I want to do here is let's on our text, let's add a font. So that was called Sansita. So here we'll go to the plus, we'll go to add more, continue, and then let's navigate to that fonts folder. So on my iPad, Vector Lab, and then fonts, you'll see an info for fonts. That's the license information. The fonts are actually in this folder called fonts install these. And this font was called Sansita and there's multiple weights. Now we could load all the fonts here, but I found that on iPad in general, if you try to load a lot of fonts at once, sometimes it crashes things or becomes difficult. So this will probably get better with later versions of the iPad, later versions of the OS and later versions of Adobe Illustrator. So let's just load this Sansita font and see if we can get these loaded and get working. So let's go select and let's just select all the versions of Sansita and click open. Now this asks if you have the rights to use these fonts and you do because these are 
open source fonts and we'll tap add. And it looks like this is still giving me problems. It's I'm assigning it the Sancita font and it's switching out of it. So let's try this. Let's exit out of this and let's go back into this file. And now all our fonts are loaded. So if, you, if you're having trouble with your fonts, just go out of the file, then go back into it. If that still doesn't work, shut everything down, restart your iPad and eventually get it to work. I think Adobe will get all these bugs worked out pretty soon. Anyway, so this is looking good. You'll notice we have our layers here. A couple things I wanna show you. So one thing that took me a while to figure out is with scaling. So to select everything here, what we can do is let's hold down this circle right here. And now you'll notice if we scale it, it doesn't scale proportionately. So two fingers to undo. But what we do is if we hold down that circle, now it scales proportionately. So the other thing I wanna do is let's, uh, let's go into that cat file and get that ready and then we'll paste in this text here. Actually, you know what we can do is just tap out of that and we'll select everything we need here. So let's banner fill, banner line work, the vector lab. And then what we can do here is go to copy this. Let's go into these other files. I have this cat file already open. The font is loaded. And let's go into the layers here and let's turn off the lightning bolt and turn off some of this text. Actually, I wanna turn off all the text so we can just turn off that whole layer group. And now what we can do is let's go to paste this. And now we can put this banner right here. I think that's already looking pretty good. Now in this file, I have a little teeth overlay so we can get, we can hold this and drag the teeth on top of there. So now our teeth are going on top of this banner. So what else can we do here? Let's edit some of the text. So I actually like how it says the vector lab there. Let's turn on some of this other type that we had here. So what we can do here is let's go to our keyboard there and just type illustrator. And you'll see here this illustrator type is a little big for that area. So what we can do is just decrease our letter spacing a little bit. Let's just select all layers here. And what I'm gonna do is let's just go here and tap here to copy it. And I'm gonna open up a t-shirt mock-up template for Adobe Illustrator. So again, we can go into our layers here. Let's turn off this example graphic and highlight this layer that says your art goes on this layer and go there to paste. Again, what we wanna do is hold down our little circle and we can scale it proportionately. Now you're talking. So I think this is looking pretty good. You know, we could go in here and change this fabric color, say more of like an orange or something like that to match the cat's nose. So there you go. That's how to use the graphic and logo templates for Adobe Illustrator and also the t-shirt mock-up templates for Adobe Illustrator for iPad. Thanks for watching.